Let's look at how to make an interactive table of contents using text anchors in InDesign. InDesign can automate a table of contents, but this project has so few pages that we are going to create one manually. Keep in mind that the cover won't count as a page in your table of contents, but InDesign does count it as page one by default. So pay attention to what your table of contents says. Open up the hyperlinks panel by going to Window, Interactive, and then Hyperlinks. Navigate to the page that has the first item listed in your table of contents in this InDesign document. Highlight the text that you are navigating to using the type tool. In this case, it's the headline on my page. Open the hyperlink panel options, the hamburger menu in the top right corner of the panel. Select new hyperlink destination. In the type box, select text anchor. By default, the name will be populated with the text that you highlighted on your page. Hit OK. Now navigate to your table of contents page and using the type tool, highlight the corresponding text you want to link the page to. Select the Create New Hyperlink icon at the bottom of the hyperlink panel. In the Link To box, select Text Anchor. Find the name you are linking to in the menu. In character style, I like to change the style to none. Leaving it as hyperlink style creates an underline to the text that I don't want for this particular design. Hit OK. Go through the rest of the document, adding hyperlink destinations, and then linking them to the table of contents text that will have the action on it. When you're done, go to File, Export, and in the Save as Type, make sure that you have Adobe PDF, PDF Interactive selected. Then hit Save. 
In the resulting dialog box, in the General tab, make sure that All is selected and that Pages, rather than Spreads, are selected. This will create a document that scrolls vertically, page by page. Now hit Export. The document should open in a new window. Check your links to make sure they work.